Is CBS News on the verge of being, quote, blown up? Not literally, a, a total transformation, rather, from top to bottom. That report, coming from New York Post columnist Charles Gasparino, comes as the Tiffany Network is now facing a slew of controversies with the election just 22 days out. Some Republicans are calling on the network to release the full transcript of its 60 Minutes interview with Vice President Harris. This after CBS aired a much different version in a preview clip of Harris's response to a question on Israel than what actually ultimately aired. Here's the preview of the clip on the left, followed by the 60 Minutes clip on the right. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of m movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. We are not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United States to be clear about where we stand on the need for this war to end. Let's now bring in radio host to WABC New York and author James Golden, but we know him better as Bo Snurdly. Bo, hope you had a great weekend. Um, that 60 Minutes clip that I just aired is only one of the controversies the network is in hot water for. We know the network is kind of undergoing a, a possible sale for $28 billion dollars um, to Skydance, an independent studio. If that sale goes through come the spring, what do you think's in store for the network? Don't know. And it will be interesting to find out. As you know, news is a very expensive thing to have in a media portfolio. And you don't get the kind of returns on it as other programming. So this could, all of this could spell trouble for CBS. But I just want to say this isn't anything new. If you go back and you look at the controversies that Dan Rather had, why Dan Rather was forced out, managing editor as well as the face of CBS News, it was his biased coverage of Bush 43. This is a problem. You have liberal activists, political activists, posing as journalists, as journalists embedded in not just their newsroom, but in newsrooms of some of the major legacy all around the country. There is a lot more competition now. People are fragmented in terms of their viewing, so you don't have these massive audiences that these legacy media networks used to command. So there should be a reckoning, and that reckoning may be coming, not just for CBS, but some of the others as well. Yeah, and I imagine, uh, you know, there are some nervous people uh, at CBS right now if this sale goes through come spring. And I was thinking to myself, Bo, you know, you may be able to do a full shakedown of the management tree, you know, if you will. But what about on-air talent? Because also, as you know, TV is a very, it's an intimate thing, right? I mean, viewers get to know and trust and love those who are on air. So what do you think it means for talent in the future uh, if this well, thing gets a facelift? Funny you should ask. Guess what we have now that we didn't have until now? AI. There were already AI-generated beings that are beginning to emerge on media. And guess what? Some of them are drawing audiences. Marky, we're, we're in a very interesting time. Who knows what the future of any of this will look like? Can you imagine a perfect media personality being created by artificial intelligence and people gravitating to it? That could very well happen in the future. Yeah, and it's so scary. I think and you've seen those we're clips. looking at exciting times. It's uncanny, right? I mean, some of those clips that you think are, are real news anchors, uh, there's not a, a shred of reality about it. Um, it. It's scary for a lot of us. Bo Snurdly, thank you so much as always, my friend. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.